Well, good morning, everyone. Today is the 14th day. It's a beautiful day again. There is rain in the forecast for Sunday. Today is Friday. So hopefully this roof will be up before then. Otherwise, uh, those tanks will get wet before they should and they will be flooded. Hey, no. Get over in the sand over here. You get away from there. So my understanding, today, they will put these hangers up here. Those are the same thing as these. And what they will do is hold the sheet metal. Also, sometime along the way, they will take some C3 and weld it across somewhere about this height here, which is which is 1.5 meters from here going up and across. And what that will do is you'll have a place to weld the chain link on top. You weld the chain link to the side of that and you weld to these little round bars and then You will do that, encase it in cement, in the rendering cement, and it will hold it all the way around. Now, I know that most people will think that this is an overkill, but we're going to have some chickens, and the last thing you want is for them to be out here pooping everywhere doing all this stuff so it'll keep them out it'll keep the OG out and uh, keep them from trying to jump into these things when the fish are swimming around so it will protect this area uh, and I think it, it'll work out and it'll be worth the effort plus if there's some other animals that uh, might happen to come on the property it'll keep them out of here of course, if there are any snakes, it can just come on in, but hopefully not. So there it is. Hopefully, they get through this today. Hey! No! No! You go to the other sand. That sand is too expensive for you to be throwing around. No! So hopefully they'll start putting this thing in and they'll have it done uh, by Saturday. And if it does rain by Sunday, it'll keep the compartments from getting flooded too early. All right, so let's wait and see what happens today. Every day is a new day, every day is an adventure because you never know what's going to happen. All right. Little kids, here they are. They're starting uh, putting these galvanized hangers up here. So, right now, they're running a the string so they could uh, set these things on there and then they will work their way up towards the middle and then the other side also and at some point they will start to uh, put up this roof over here now when they did this one uh, they did it in a day. So 
I'll be happy if they do it in a day and a half. That means that by tomorrow lunch, we can have a roof. So if we do get that rain on Sunday, it'll have a roof. And it'll allow this tanks to dry correctly before we start adding water. So let's hope for the best. So now what they're doing is they're making a little walkway so they could stand and walk and work. So getting this this first few is slow, but once they set it up, it goes pretty, pretty quick. Of course, we'll see as they do it and uh, okay. see how it goes. So they're trying to figure out something, but maybe this thing has marks every so often or something. I don't know. Maybe the profile is different. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever it is, they're trying to figure it out. And once they get going, like I said, based on the time they did the chicken coop, once they set it up, it goes quick. Just trying to figure out what it is they're going to do. Okay, so they're coming along. We got three up. We're working on the third one. Like I said before. Once they get that uh, first one in there, they just measure off the next one, next one, next one. And off it goes very, very quick. Before you know it, they'll be done with this side. They'll do the other side and they'll start hanging the panels, the sheet metal. So right now it's 10 o'clock. They got here at 9. Let's see what happens. Now here, where you have the 4 by 4s they're adding some mortar mix here to fill in that gap so that once they get ready to render it'll be smooth and there won't be a problem uh, having that adhere to the to the wall okay so it's coming along it's 10 30 and they're just about done with this site here so it's coming along and well on its way and I guess he's done with this site here everything is going down that way and then this side will be done. So that's good. Okay, so there it is. This one side, the hangers are up. Now, I imagine they're gonna go start on the other side and then put the panels up all at one time. Hard to tell. Well, we'll definitely find out when they do it. Okay, so here we are. They uh, started the they started the other side. And this works out pretty good because this will put the uh, roof material, the sheet, uh, the sheet metal, right over this chicken coop because I want this to be protected from the rain. And the only way. You, you're gonna get rain down in here is if it's coming inside so it'll work out so it's about 10 minutes to lunch and uh, right after lunch I'm sure we'll finish this and start putting the roof up so I don't know we'll find out how it goes okay it's 12:30. And they're still working. They want to. They want to finish the roof. Okay, so there it is. They're uh, they're 
they're actually uh, doing the last one right here so pretty soon this will be done then they will stop for lunch and then uh, I guess after lunch they'll start putting up the sheet metal that would be real good and one of the one of the things that these guys don't understand is that you need to let the concrete cure and that's why I was saying if we have a roof on here in case it rains I mean it would be okay if it rains and stuff I would just have to pump the the uh, tank side and stuff but I would rather that they cure for a week or so so that um, I can put some load on there and they can withstand a little bit of pressure and stuff because when you fill these tanks up we're talking about a lot of weight and we're talking about about eight pounds per gallon and I haven't figured it out but there's a whole bunch of gallons in one of these things so you want to let that concrete cure so it can withstand the full load so yeah no hurry we've waited all this time we can wait another week before we start loading it down with uh with some water all right let's see what happens after lunch okay here they go they, they finished putting up those uh hangers and now it's time to put in the sheet metal and this is what i wanted them to do is start on this side so that if anything happens it's on the back side and you don't see it too often okay i guess they're using that board so they can slide that thing on there Okay, so here's the first one. So everything is based on this one. So if this is wrong, the whole thing is wrong. So they're starting to screw this one in. And here we go from this point on. Let's hope for the best. Okay, so this is moving along really quick. Now they're on number three. Of course, he's not fully. No! It's not fully screwed down, but yeah. Yeah, that's no good there. Look, look. Huh? That thing, look, it's bending. Oh. No, that's no good. Oh. Look. Look. Just like I was afraid of. That's exactly what they did. They bent this thing. Each and every single one of them. really amazing that this thing is happening is bending is doing all this and just a thing until I tell them you gotta watch these guys and not just these guys any of the contractors I've ever had they just do whatever and if it uh, screws up that's your problem all right let's see what happens this was going so good until somebody undid what we did. If you look there and you follow this line back, 
Whoa. See how it's getting wider and wider until it gets over here? We had corrected that to be even with the top. They put a screw up there at the top. And somebody took it upon themselves and moved it back. And the reason they did that is because these little metal hangers are different sizes. They're not precise. So they were saying that they were sticking out or something. Well, you don't angle the metal. You, you go and you cut, but you measure it wrong. Because otherwise, you're going to have a wider bottom here and a skinnier thing up there on top. That's not good. All right, I'm going to let them work and I'm going to go inside because I am not a happy camper right about now. And on top of all this, they bent those hangers and uh, I'm just going to go inside and let them work and see what happens. Okay, so I haven't been outside because I was not a happy camper and I wanted to let them work. They've got about two more sheets to go and this one side will be done. This thing here, they corrected it and we'll go from there. Okay, so there it is guys. We're coming to the end of the day. They're still here. Now we're about to run out of screws, so hopefully they'll have enough. And if they don't... So that's what, about four sheets? About four or five sheets maybe? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. So either way, it's coming pretty close to the end. Four sheets, that's what I said. Four, five sheets, four, and five is over there. Yep, very good. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See you. Bye bye.